to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, Virtual Fighter. Virtual Fighter is a 2D fight game that was developed by Sega's AM2 in 1993. Street Fighter, Fatal Fury, Mortal Kombat, the 2D fight era had begun and started to fill up places with fight games. It was a good time for arcades and places with arcade games because attendance was reaching all-time highs. People couldn't get enough of it. Then suddenly in 1993, Sega joins in the fight with this Yu Suzuki piece of 3D innovation that will be Virtual Fighter. And it was a showstopper. It couldn't have happened at a better time as well. You see, you Suzuki was primarily responsible for Sega Super Scaler series of games that produced pseudo 3D like environment and 3D like scaling. So, in a time of 2D fighters, Virtual Fighter comes in with this 3D polygon rendered characters doing real life martial arts moves. Amazing! Everybody gravitated to the game. Ironically, Virtual Fighter for me marked the beginning of a serious decline in the arcade attendance in the 90s. I know you're like, how can that be? Everybody's going to the arcades. Attendance is at an all time high. Well, let me tell you this one story. One day I was playing Virtual Fighter against these two kids, I picked the character Lao, and these kids laughed at me. True story. Now you may hear this and think, so what's the big deal? Well, this little experience illustrated a larger, more malignant problem, but more on that later. In this game, you can choose from eight different characters representing different styles to engage in a one-on-one -on -one fight against different opponents. Best two out of three wins, you know, the typical fight game rules, except for the ring out, which was different for the time, so you had to be aware of your position within the ring. The game also had a block button, which was another feature fight gamers had to get used to because the typical was to push back on the joystick for defense, but the fight system and gameplay felt natural so it was pretty easy to make the transition. Now if you take a look at the move list compared with previous 2D fight games, it started to become a little bit more complicated, and I know there's fight game aficionados that may disagree, and I'm no way an expert, but at this point in fighting games, chain combos started to become a thing, especially with Virtual Fighter, and if you didn't know how to link up the combos, you really didn't stand a chance. This started to become the norm for fighting games, and since it was profitable, store owners and arcades were more inclined with getting fight games than getting any other genre of games. So the casual lunchtime player who used to spend a lot of cash in the arcades were being phased out and who replaced them was younger more savvy players who didn't stand a chance against them. Also, the younger more savvy players were able to make their quarters last for a pretty long time. Another reason why Virtual Fighter marked the beginning of the end for arcades was it came bundled with the Sega Saturn. Now you see, Virtual Fighter was extremely popular in the arcades and the Sega Saturn port was almost exactly like the arcade version. It wasn't like 16-bit versions of arcade games where there was some slight sprite differences, this was almost exactly like the arcade. It was like having the arcade right in your room. And since home consoles started packing more of a bus hardware, the need to go to the arcades became less and less appealing. This shouldn't take away from Virtual Fighter's achievements though. This innovative step by Sega led to other game companies who produced fight games to dabble in 3D. It also spawned a number of sequels, home ports, animes, mangas, won numerous world records including first 3D fight game and first polygon based fighting game. Virtual Fighter's innovative approach to gameplay also influenced other games outside the genre like Tomb Raider and Quake. It also was a source of inspiration for PlayStation to embrace 3D focused hardware and it's also the only game on permanent display in the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History for its contribution in the field of art and entertainment. Basically, Virtual Fighter's approach to 3D gaming with flawless, realistic gameplay and game mechanics truly changed the landscape of gaming. And I say, play the game and let me know what you think.